outside a slaughterhouse here and uh, with the squad. Check it out. Got the gang over there and we got big fuck off trucks over there. Presumably getting washed down from all the shit and blood. So here we've got uh, a big truck leaving and it's it's not one of the trucks that they take the animals in, it's the trucks that they So that's all the unused body parts in there, the intestines, all the organs, the blood. And that'll probably go to a plant. You can actually see it dripping off there. That'll go to a plant where they'll process that. And this one here is for all the cut up body parts to go off and be packaged and processed into a shop. Slaughterhouse gates, right? Come across the road here. And you seriously have to see this to believe it. They've got a quote from the Bible. Have everlasting life. Right across the street from this death camp. Right? And then you come up over here. Right across the street from a slaughterhouse. There's some sheep grazing in a field. This is a place, you know, this is a the house of God, so to speak. And we got sheep over here. I'm sure there's a few lambs roaming about. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Well, this is a place of lies and death. You know what I mean? This is crazy, and then even crazier, man, they have a vet. They actually have a vet here where they go to take injured, sick animals. No doubt, you know, the slaughterhouse will uh, will say that that's, that's for our animals and stuff. But, I mean, the hypocrisy and the double standards is just shocking. Look at the team here, staying strong. And we got Laura doing a bit of filming with Joey. The lads. the weather on our side too. They're actually padlocking and chaining the gates, you know, to try and maybe give us the message that, you know, there's no there's no trucks coming today that's us closed for good or that we're of some sort of threat, you know, <laughs> that we that we have like fucking chain clippers or whatever. Locking the gates up there. Empty. Empty. You know what I mean? Going to get some more victims. More innocent creatures. Look how clean that is. It's been washed down, all the blood and shit cleaned out of it. Now they're off to get some more. goes taking the pigs to their death and be forced into a gas chamber burned from the inside out and then they're gonna be hung upside down and have a knife stuck into their throat for what you know what I mean you can eat something else there they go
uh, two that came when you were here and they didn't stop at all. They drove straight through Yeah, like they didn't stop at all. Two, four, two of them. Can I ask you, what's the worst part of um, the, this plant being beside your house? Um, the, the screaming things that really annoys me the most because it is so stressing to think you can't come down and help them. Yeah. But they scream constantly from, like, it's an all-nighter, just like settle down at any point. They seem to scream at like, different points throughout the night, yeah. you know, so... Um, I'm assuming they're probably freezing cold and that's why they're, they're screaming because they're not yeah. happy like yeah. they live in there. And yes. you've made calls uh, to welfare and... I, I ring the, the council officer who is an environmental uh, health uh -huh. and um, he just says he will log a complaint and he'll investigate it but there's never any comeback on what they're doing or why or, you know. Mm -hmm. But like we would, we would have the smell from the factory. Yeah. We also have the noise of the screaming pipes. <coughs> and um, the most, most annoying part is the screaming pipes, you know, because it's not there. It must be very distressing for you having to hear that and be helpless, not be able to do anything Even about it. Even during, the, you know, I come out from my lunch mm -hmm. um, from work and I typically go up the lane for a walk and to hear them screaming, yeah. you hear that screaming every day, you know? Yeah. So when you're chilling, watching TV, this the music, uh -huh. you're just screaming. Uh -huh. Their lives been taken away from them pretty much. Like that's something to check out because your own peace of mind, I imagine your sanity must be going to be removed. It's actually changed me. Like I, I used to eat meat and uh, yeah. well, that's, a, that's a pro. Uh, <laughs> what do you call it? Yeah. Like for all the people that don't know, yeah. you know, they don't know they're Yeah, totally detached. That's the thing, if you understand. Yeah, that's why we're here. Collect all the cut up pigs. Apparently, the process takes 45 minutes from the pigs coming in here. It's getting gassed, cut up, processed. And that, that would be like a big freezer van. And then they go and take them to the shops. And there's another one. Giving us the thumbs up for some reason. If you were to phrase it in whatever way, what, what would you like to say I to people? I just want people to open their eyes. You know, the, you know, the information's out there. It's all on the, the internet now, you know. You know, just want them to just shut themselves off. That's what they need to make themselves aware. Yeah. yeah. And why do they need to make themselves aware? Because of the suffering of the animals. It doesn't need to happen. Um, it's as simple as that. Yeah, it's avoidable. Do you yeah. think as well that if we showed it's acceptable to suffer, make these animals suffer, we're, we're making that acceptable behaviour in society. That if it's acceptable here, if it's legal so we can do it in the open air, that we're actually conditioning ourselves to normalise violence. To normalise violence yeah. and actually impose suffering on others when we don't need to. Yes. It's sort yeah. of yeah, influencing our behaviour on the field. Yeah. Thanks very much. Yeah, we really appreciate it, thank you. Trucks here. Cop car sitting right over there. Two cops in it. And we just got some reinforcements. 
couple more cops. And this is all because we're trying to show compassion and peace and respect for these animals. Listen to this. You can hear them scream. And they're totally ignoring their screams. Like, what are those conditions like in there? And they're screaming, they're covered in their own shit. This is the price you pay for bacon. Nothing humane happens in a slaughterhouse. Big sows, probably like what age did you say? Six months at the very, at the very oldest, which is extremely young. This is so crazy, man. This happens out of sight. This is why I don't make the connection. These are living creatures. This is not food. They're screaming. They're being taken in here against their will. Use a creature. You know, like, if this was dogs, it would be a different story. Irish cattle experts. Fucking hell, this is crazy. 2018, this is some crazy shit. Can you actually justify this for taste?